Hey, how are What's you, man? up, man? Everything good. Thank you for having me here, hey, man. Hey, thanks for being here. Man, this is wonderful. I'm gonna win a lot of money, man. You are? Yeah. Well, for ping pong? Yeah. I don't how much, know. How much you think uh, you're gonna win? You know, I need to look into that. I'm not sure. You think huh? you're gonna win, though? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Have you been practicing? No. Okay. No, I okay. Been... Good. But I have good. a secret weapon. What is it? That's gonna help? Yeah. This okay. Is well, it's either gonna help or hurt. <laughs> That's not for you. That's only for Guillermo. Where did you get the kid? I just found him. Yeah. Yeah, he was over How there. How many kids you have? One? Two? Uh, I got. A, I, I have four. Four? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! I you know. have any other hobbies? <laughs> <What? Any laughs> just other kids. Hobbies? Kids and baseball. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thanks right. for being here, Thank bro. You, Good to see you, man. All right. <laughs> Hey, you want to take a picture with me? No. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, we, we still have one more! <laughs> <laughs> we have another one, they keep coming! <laughs> there are two new faces in the Kershaw clan since they last hosted Ping Pong for Purpose in 2019. The pandemic forced a two year hiatus of the event, which in all likelihood, increase the anticipation of Ping Pong's return to Dodger Stadium. Uh, we were excited about doing the event again. You know, I think after two years of not being able to do it, to finally have everybody back out and get to support Kershaw's Challenge and see everybody there was just an awesome feeling for Ellen and I. And every year I feel like it's gotten a little bit better. And every year I've just been amazed by the support. You look great. Come with the outfit. Yeah, yeah. have to, have to you step up the game. This is my yeah. homage to Texas here for you. I appreciate that. I think there, there are people that everyone really looks up to with, with you know, their, how much philanthropy they dedicate, you know, their lives to and how many people and other charities they affect. And uh, they're just really nice, great people. And we're lucky to have them as, you know, part of the Dodger family. I'm not going to stand out at all. <laughs> Look, I mean, oh. give it up. Ping this pong. Oh, I see him in a First of all, I missed it while we weren't able to have this in the in the last few years, so it's really a big deal, I think, to be back. And it's also as well run as a charity event gets. And nobody dreads this, everybody has a ball, and you can't say that about most charity events. You know what, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, everyone's happy, there's no tension, there's no one upset. Uh, it's just a really, really good vibe. I got good peripheral, I see it, I see it. <laughs> Thank you for being here, man. Thank Appreciate you. it, yes, so cool. this is awesome. Sorry, it's got the world's smallest Is that your handheld mic? I love that. That's our smallest microphone. I, I, I took it from him, man. Look at, oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of Forrest Gump in preparation for this ping pong tournament, and uh, I think stupid is as stupid does, and I'm ready. It's uh, obviously an event that is very special, um, not only to the, the Kershaw's Challenge and, and the foundation, but I think it's pretty special for all the guys to, you know, not have to worry about or think about baseball. You know, we're out here, we're playing ping pong, we're hanging out, you know, rubbing elbows with a lot of celebrities and, and actors and musicians and, and people in uh, other categories. This is a special event because you haven't done it since 2019. Yeah, we're excited that it's back. And, you know, I, I've said it every year, but to have the kind of support that we do with, with our teammates being here, um, with the different celebrities making time out of their schedule to be here is, is humbling. We don't take that for granted. And um, at the end of the day, we're going to be able to raise money for some stuff that's yeah. really cool uh, for the kids that really need it. And uh, all these people here tonight are supporting that. And uh, we, we just couldn't be more grateful. Ellen and Clayton Kershaw formed their Kershaw's Challenge charity in 2011. Initially, they wanted to help combat poverty in Zambia. But over 11 years, with a goal evolving into a focus on the vulnerable and at-risk children, the mission has flourished and spread far beyond Africa, into the places they call home, such as Los Angeles and Dallas, and into a country they know well, the Dominican Republic. These are the places that need the Kershaw's aid and assistance, and that's why their single largest event, Ping Pong for Purpose, is so important to them. I want y'all to know that on a fun night like tonight, there's so much good happening, and I'm so thankful for y'all coming alongside of Kershaw's Challenge and getting to be a part of something that's so much bigger than ourselves, and baseball, and ping pong, and 
Thank y'all for believing in Kershaw's challenge and what we're trying to do and the partnerships we have. This was kind of her brainchild. She had been to Africa and she had met this little girl named Hope and said she wanted to help her. And so I think that is just kind of where this all started. So she's really been at the beginning of this. She's really been uh, behind the scenes making this work as well as our other amazing team members that we have. And for me, you know, the platform that baseball has given us to do this stuff is really my, uh, my contribution to this thing. So it's been, it's been amazing to see. I'm so thankful that we have that branch outside of baseball to be able to use our platform. And it's really amazing to see everything that Tellen's done to accomplish it. Um, so we're going to introduce our host. I'll introduce our host. We're so thankful to have Rob Lowe tonight. Everybody give Rob Lowe a big hand. Hey, everybody. Well, listen, when a first ballot Hall of Famer asks you to do something, you kind of do it. So I was happy to come and help Clayton and Ellen. They do such great things for this community. And, you know, it, it's for kids not only in Los Angeles, but all over the world. And nobody bid on that Willy Wonka sign Gene Wilder thing, because that's got my name all over it. I mean, where else, where else are you going to get a Willy Wonka Oompa Loompa thing other than, than here tonight? This ping pong for purpose, we really focused on the beneficiaries here in LA as well as abroad. So we did Shoes That Fit here in LA, the Dream Center here in LA. We did IJM internationally, and then we did Arise Africa as well, and um, just so many other great beneficiaries that we have, but those are where the main funds went to tonight. Uh, $16 million over the course of the, I think, eight years they've been doing this, pretty great. I'm gonna announce your name and table number, and when you hear that, go to the table and begin your match. Okay, so let's get started. Our first match of the night. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. come to the event, you know a bunch of celebrities are going to be there, but not really sure who you're getting paired up with. So uh, first thing you do after you check in is you walk over to that big board, try to find your name. And I was excited to see Will Ferrell, and uh, we had a good time. Five, serve five, serve. Five. five, and then he'll serve five, five, and then you'll serve five, and then Max will serve five. What do we, we play? Huh? Play to 50? 21. 100. <laughs> Depending on what the score is, is what we're playing to, okay? If they get to 21 first, we're going to 50. Terrible. That's terrible. Woo! I mean, yes, I like that. We both have the same kind of uh, playing philosophy, which is get the ball over the net and immediately get out of the way. We didn't beat Lux, Lux beat himself. He was absolutely embarrassing. Maybe one of the worst ping pong players I've ever competed against. Hey, that was brutal. I thought, hey, you got game, me? you got game. First off, he goes, put me with someone who's I, I said good. I was no good beforehand. He's not good. He never plays. We have a table in spring training, he never plays. My partner here today was, uh, they just know him as Bazooka, and uh, yeah, that dude's got a cannon. Uh, we just, he's right here, he probably doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, yeah, it was that kind of day. Chapucero, verdad? It's un chapucero. Mucha regla. Es más fácil cuando estoy borracho. Es más fácil cuando estoy borracho. He was great guy, great guy, very fun too. The fluffy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm playing one round and we lost. But it's OK. We, the more important, we enjoyed that, that moment. Ya ganaron? We tried, bro. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm going to steal this because I lost. <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> Clayton, I earned it. I earned it. Oh. 
he and I, we have pretty good chemistry for the most part. I mean, especially when we have to like switch and go back and forth. Like we got in a groove really early, which was nice. It's tough to carry him, man, you know, honestly. Like, there's like a pure athleticism to my side, and then I was kind of just like felt, no. Um, he was awesome, he was really funny. We beat the Thompsons, which was kind of like our championship. <laughs> Skull! <laughs> we won! It's honestly very heartbreaking. I mean, I don't know what's worse, being the only team in NBA Finals history to blow a 3-1 lead or losing the first round of the Kershaw Challenge. <laughs> I'm sick right now. God! One and done, that's embarrassing. The disappointment that accompanies the Thompson's early exit is shared by many, including the reigning champion from 2019, as Cody Bellinger tries to break in a rookie partner substituting for Kershaw. Jimmy Kimmel's man on the street, Guillermo Rodriguez. Listen, I don't blame you. It was my fault. I never blame you for it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Chris Taylor and I did okay for ourselves. I always try to have a professional athlete to back me up because I'm mildly talented at best. But like he said, if we went any farther, I think we might have gotten embarrassed. So we were competitive to go as far as we did, and that's cool. It's just a cool mix of, you get to say hi to the Dodgers and uh, other celebrities and other athletes. It's just nice to, to be here in any, oh. Look, I have one of Clayton's shoes. Just hand it to me. That's what can happen at, at, at the ping pong night. You can just be handed one of his shoes. That's the magic of the evening. To me, this is the most fun charity event anybody puts on. It's really great also to mingle and, and look over and you see a couple of the relievers playing ping pong and you meet Trace Thompson and I just got to talk to Max Muncy for a little bit. Uh, it, it's kind of surreal because I'm a big, big fan of these guys. Uh, it's always funny because we look up to these artists and, and these actors and we see them on TV and, and doing concerts and you kind of feel like they're unreachable and then you get at these events with them and you know they start talking to us like we're the unreachable ones because you know we play for the Dodgers so I think that's something that uh, you know you kind of got to pinch yourself a little bit about and and it just said testament to what it means to wear this uniform. The Dodgers are not the only pros scattered among the competitors. The bracket features Anastasia Rybka, a professional table tennis player and coach. She qualifies as a ringer, but Trey Turner is paired with another professional athlete who adapted his form from the court to the table and helped his team advance to the finals. The two-handed swing had me laughing quite a bit. And I thought it was hilarious, and I saw it from the beginning, and he was kind of messing around, but it's also how he, you know, he played tennis for years and years. He just went back to his roots and what he's done all his life, and uh, he was having a good time with it. I was doing the two-hander. I mean, I don't know how much, I guess the, the hand-eye coordination, but these guys have, I mean, if you're a baseball player, you got pretty good hand-eye coordination too, so uh, Trey was good. I mean, he was better than he was making out that he was gonna be. Uh, played a little bit better than I thought I would. I guess that's more of me just not messing up and just getting the ball over the net. So I really liked how they play this tennis player. He played with two hands, so he had a good feeling. But we just were better, what to say. You know, Trey and Marty did uh, did really well. You know, Marty obviously is a professional tennis player, and Trey is pretty athletic as well. So I knew they'd be okay. And then, uh, you know, they lost a professional Ukrainian ping pong player. So you know, they did pretty well. We have a nice trophy for you guys, right there. And then our runner-ups, Trey Turner and Marty Fish. Thank you guys. <laughs> Marty and Trey, your prizes are. Thank you so much for playing the other <laughs> It's been pretty humbling, honestly, to think about where we started to where we are now. And, you know, we started with the goal of just helping one little girl in Africa, and it's turned into, you know, a multi million dollar uh, thing over 10 plus years, over multiple countries, multiple beneficiaries, and most importantly, multiple kids being helped, um, hundreds of thousands actually. So it's, it's, it's been amazing um, and we're just so thankful that people have come and support us the way they have. What a great night. I'm so thankful that y'all were here.
Have a great night. Get home safe. Thank y'all. Hit that like button, swing at the subscribe button, and hit a home run on that notification bell. Thank you for watching your Herbal Podcast. Have a totally awesome rest of your day.